Okay, I feel like I haven't really been able to get into my rise that much because I redo Raw and SmackDown. And then do a bit of my rise, so we're just gonna do a full hour of my rise tonight. It's what we gonna do, motherfucker. Oh, so it didn't save that. Oh, interesting. Ah, maybe I'll change it to grappling. Or to striking. Social meads. Orton. We are indeed daydreaming. This is where we were. Nice. Queen Zelina. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. Damn straight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Smooth Operator. The Intercontinental Champion hasn't made too many entrances in his WWE career, but he seems to be getting the hang of it. He seems to be getting the hang of a lot of things, like winning. Let's see if he can keep the train rolling here tonight. The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? Cole, put some respect on the crown's name. And his partner from Queens, New York, <laughs> Queen Zelina. She's Queen Zelina the possesses booze, over eh? a decade of experience in the ring. Yeah, you may not like her yeah. attitude, but Queen Zelina is a true student of the game. She knows every trick in the book, and knowing those tricks has brought her great success. What is wrong with Queen Zelina's attitude, Saxton? You sound like a real peasant. Give me about four hours, <laughs> and I'll tell you. <laughs> Isn't it funny, the different evolutions of, of wrestlers? Like, and now she's part of the LWO, and everybody loves her, right? She may be diminutive in size, but Zelina is a master strategist inside the ring. And you're about to see her brilliant mind at work. So exciting to see the power of Tazawa and ah, Akira. Weighing in at Look who he's teaming with. 56 pounds, Akira Tozawa. 
I consider myself lucky to have a victory over Tazawa. He is one tough competitor. So if I beat you, does that make me better than Tazawa? Gentlemen, the ninja battle is about to begin. Nobody meaner than Tamina. Oh, Tamina. And his partner from the Pacific Islands, Tamina. Watching Tamina devour her opponents makes my body hurt. <laughs> Don't even dare try to side-eye Tamina. She'll make you pay for it. She's held the Tag Team Championship, and she's a force to be reckoned with in the women's division. Don't look now, but there may be an alliance for me between two of the most electrifying groups in WWE. We're getting our first glimpse of the Intercontinental Champion and three of a kind's Queen Zelina working side by side. And it's an intimidating sight to behold. Could be the start of a very powerful relationship. Or the end if Tazawa and Tamina find a way to get the last one. Boom, what a forearm. Right Great for baby. Vicious double axe handle. Ooh. All measured up. Oh, drop kick to the spine. Tamina being controlled by the opposition here. Unrelenting attacks from Zelina. Oh. Oh. Completely unbothered Zelina Vega. Nothing but disrespect for her opponent. Arm track toss. Oh, what a knee strike. She ain't going to hit it. Boop. Oh, shit. Speak of the devil. She did hit it. She missed that. It's like she was going for a cure. It's like. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, look at that slam. See the drop kick connects. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that might have just broken something. Tamina now is being sized up. Queen Zelina. Oh. Oof. Smooth 
Upper Raider and Queen Zelina. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft. Nice quick match. They tagged the girls in really quick there, and I just kind of ran with it. And are getting their backs up. They all want shit break, baby. <laughs> Just like in real life. <sighs> I wish. It's an Elsiomo, baby. Damn. They're here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Team All Smooth Operator. Accompanied by Queen Zelina at a combined weight of 437 pounds. Smooth Operator and Gabriel Slate. After an exhilarating WWE debut, The Lock is looking to build on his early momentum. The Intercontinental Champion yeah. will also be looking to lock up his reputation as a winner here tonight. compete but tonight might be their best lesson yet Go time. Well, it didn't take long for the Intercontinental Butch. to do alliance with three of a kind to hit a Seamus size speed bump. The Lock and Gabriel Slade will be looking to run over that speed bump. Okay, so and I gotta get the against the always fierce pin with Gabe Butch and Rich Hall. With Queen Zelina and Shayna in opposite corners, we could be in for some real fireworks tonight, fellas. That kick will stop me in your tracks. And the lock has picked up the pace. Butch has to wake up and get going in a hurry. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. If he's smart, he might attack soon. A break on the apron could help him mitigate this damage. Breathing knee to the side of the face. Oh! Hey! Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh-oh! Spiking DDT! Switch 
pitches it back around. Oh, vicious running knee lift. And Butch is failing to offer any resistance here. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. From the top. Oh, straight to the floor. That is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. Oh. Getting dangerously close to our Big desk. move there. That's, That's the only move he's hit. I'm down over half of my green, right? Which is cut open. He moves just in time. Burying knees into the body. Whip back into the ring. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Oh shit. And Butch fending him off. Here he comes off the tag. That's Lady Boy. Lands the knee drop. Double impact. Continuing to work on their opponent's arm. Ooh. Oh, into an arm breaker. Slips out of the way. They are fading off the WWE fans now, pinning the arm down and oh, stop right to the hand. Now the leverage in this match is in Slade's favor. Perhaps Woods needs to go back to the drawing board. He's getting a little battered now. Very measured elbow drop. Boom. Dropping the elbow. Boom. Slade sizing him up from the top. From the top. Oh, fuck. And Holland needed that badly. Rich got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Oh, man. Oh, God, that hurt. Boom. Very measured elbow drop. Now what Gabriel had coming. Ridge looking for a raucous oh, fight night fuck. atmosphere as he turns his attention to the crowd. What? Series of reversals. Oh, what a wind up. <laughs> he turns it around. <laughs> Fisherman suplex. <laughs> Double arm lock. Wow. Now he's been forced to take a breather. That last sequence didn't go as he planned. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. And he slides. <laughs> I'm trying to go after Baszler, but. Didn't really let me. Slade with a course correction. Boom! Right between the eyes. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Oh, ouch. Holland's legs are teetering. He might have nothing left. Holland's in imminent danger. Lands oh. face first. That was not delicious. Liking Ridge's odds here. Nope, I didn't I didn't want to do more. Cover here. Boom. I didn't think I was gonna get him. I thought he'd been left too long. Smooth three and Gabriel Flee. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart come across these two in the future.
I see you. See this falling apart and me having to take on Randy at some point? I can see that being a thing, you know. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Queen Zelina from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Smooth Operator. That Intercontinental Championship looks good on the lock, doesn't it? He won it in his debut and hasn't looked back. He needs to transform into a one-man battalion in order to take on the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. I'm not sure that's going to be enough to overcome Sheamus. Siamas. Siamos, Siamos. It's fight night. <laughs> Look at this clown. And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title, has earned every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? With three of a kind in shambles, the lock goes one-on-one -on -one against WWE's ultimate instigator, Sheamus. You might want to check your map, Cole, because I count one, two, three superstars in Sheamus's corner. And nobody with the lock, who appears to be without his faction yet again. It's hard not to wonder if they might be the next faction to find themselves on shaky ground. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Uh-oh. Targets the gut to end the offense. Neck breaker excellently executed. Ooh, knee right to the face. Oh, God. Great counter. That's a bad <laughs> landing. He's been placed in the corner now. Reversal catches Sheamus there. Pattern instincts from Sheamus. Came in the abdomen. And there's the cover. Oh, I don't think so. Instantly he has his shoulders up. Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing. And after this match has already gone for so long. Boom, nice. Oh, man. Seated drop kick. 
Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. The stomp in every single part of his body. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Able to side. Oh my God. Ooh, fought back with an elbow. Right to the jaw. Shit. Uh -oh. Up to the electric chair, down for the drop. Oh, hold on, is he thinking of a submission here? Submission cinched in, targeting the... Ah, oh, look at this. That's a great escape. Oh, 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 what a boot. The lock is focused on finishing this. Attempt to win the match. I don't like the wording of that, right? <laughs> the torture rack. Ref's the fuck. Ooh, line delivered. We need to get Baszler out of there. Great reversal. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. Ooh. Oh, kick right in the back. And guys, we're seeing Sheamus in a tough situation. And things look bad for the Celtic Warrior right now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Nice drop kick, so precise. Wrist clutch applied. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. Rosalina. Shoulders down. He gets the kick out after the one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Caught in a bad position here. I can't get like a any momentum going here. It's like it's it's like they program this, right? Like they're supposed to lose this. Even though I'm fighting back at every opportunity, right? Prick. Come on! I can't even get a fucking Then I miss something like that, and then he gets one of those in. He breaks the rest right? after one. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Kick to the start. Oh my goodness, what a knee strike. Locke might be looking to fly. Whoa. Watch out. You gotta be kidding me. And that was a collision you don't. Receiving end up. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Oh, they back up. They're, they're getting 
too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. I got to get him over to this side of the ring on a special. Trying to keep Baszler from distracting the ref. This has been a problem. Planning on what to do next. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Showing yeah. out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. He has a right where he wants him. Block, shot, block. Get the fuck up. Bro, Come on. I knew Sheamus had this. Hey, I had it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well, that's bullshit. Here is your winner. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. The reward definitely seems greater than the risk right about now, but we'll see how they feel once they get back to the locker room. I don't like to complain, but I'm getting pretty fed up with the maximum male model crew claiming that they're prettier than me. It's not a competition. As much as I've tried to, I can't seem to shut them up. Can you help? Who's the maximum male modeling crew? I don't know what that means, bruh. The greatest wrestler and the most handsome man in all of Saudi Arabia. Bold statement. Who are these assets? The oh, Mansoor. Okay, I've seen him in the uh, character Masi, selection, but never actually seen him in real life. Maximum male models from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 175 pounds. Mansoor. Mansoir once won the biggest battle royal in WWE history. 
I don't get it. What happened to this guy? And I'll tell you what happened, Byron. Mansoir now realizes it's about winning and looking good doing it. Well, let's see if he's as good in the ring as he is on the runway. It's the man who might transform WWE forever, The Lock. And his opponent, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Smooth Operator. What title do you see next for the Intercontinental Smooth Champion? Smooth Operator. Patience, Saxton, which is something you need as well as the lock if he wants to add to his title collection. Anything can happen tonight. All's fair in lock and war. <laughs> it's true. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. What I know. Well, so pissed I lost to Sheamus. Total setup, eh? Maximum male models crew have been rubbing people the wrong way backstage, and the lock has had enough of it. You mean men swap, rubbing people the wrong way, or titillating their jealous juices? Hard to say what's going on for sure, but it appears Mace will be keeping an eye on the action from ringside. Say Cole. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, what a kick! And Mansoir has momentum slipping away from him now. Every form of offense Mansoir attempts is being neutralized. Perched up top. Driving knee drop. Bam! And Locke gets surprised there. Mansoir reversing the momentum on him. Mansoir able to momentarily stop the bleeding. But will this he also gain command of this match? Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. No way! Oh! That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Douche. Momentum on the side of the lock. That yeah, lock's proving hard to keep up with. Uh oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect themselves. Rapid fire stops to the back. Look at Mansois's face. I guess he's going to have to stick to hand modeling for a while. Returning to the ring now. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Now, what the hell does a pretty victory mean? Well, the last second beat the count out. to a disadvantage now. Yeah, man, Swan has to weather a storm here. Up into the torture rack. Oh, is it the finishing touch? Come on, knees! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Smooth Operator. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. That's why they call it I guess that counted as goal. pretty. Barely even <laughs> broke a sweat. <laughs> I'll take it. La da da.
Maximum male morons. <laughs> I never noticed that was the title of the mission. You're welcome, Kayla. Anytime you want to do me a favor, I'll be ready. <laughs> Um, 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 um. Uh, what should I do? Xavier, Matt Riddle, or Chad Gable, or Robin Ray? Huh. Not sure I know who I'm she is. I'm trying a new podcast segment called Sounds of the Ring. Cool, right? Problem is, the wrestlers keep ending up outside the ring, where I don't have any mics set up. I could buy more mics. <laughs> I could find some wrestlers who know how to stay in the ring. Know anyone? I'm your man, baby. And again, just like with Kayla, anytime you want to do me a favor, I'm I'm open to favors. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Dom, dom. Blam, 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 blam. Hallelujahs. Time to get mad cat. The following contest. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Nightcap Moss! I like this guy, especially since he's not telling jokes anymore. <laughs> yeah, facing Madcap Moss is no laughing matter either. Yeah! <laughs> Mad Kit Moss. So I'm going to guess the stipulation will be we have to stay inside the ring. So. No running clotheslines near the ropes. Right. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 217 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Smooth Operator. What title do you see next for the Intercontinental Champ, Corey? Patience, Saxton, which is something you need as well as the lock if he wants to add to his title collection. Turn out the lights and close the doors behind you. It's time to lock up. Meow. Let's hope that Meow. Lock and Madcap Moss aren't claustrophobic because they're about to face off in the tightest of quarters in a match where neither are allowed to leave the ring. You say tight quarters, I say fight quarters, Michael. And I say come up with better material quarters, Saxton. Some good hits. Attack after attack is smothering Madcap. The locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Northern lights. Ooh. Counters. Madcap doing what he can to halter the B. 
beat down. Maybe Moss has found a new source of aggression to battle back with. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. A running knee. Right between the shoulder blades. First up top. A diving knee drop. This could do it. Oh, shit. He fucking rolled me up there, didn't he? He didn't even let the ref start the count. Beautiful shot block. Shit. Fuck, I hate it when I have no stamina and I can't run. Oh, it's one of the most irritating things. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Oh my gosh! He's looking poised to finish Madcap off. Caught by the back of the elbow. Nappy, meh, boof. Oh, oh working the, the working the torso. Oh, knees. I've already got his head in the red. That dodge can buy Madcap time. Let's get the torso in the red. It's in the orange now. Punch. The end is looming now. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. And a Oof. stop to the gut too. He fends off the attack. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Locke launching attacks left and right. Moss needs to be resourceful in this situation. Capped off with a big one. He's going for the pin. This oh, fuck the game with this. And a shoulder is lifted before one. What a kick out. Boom! Locke wants to end this. All right, let's finish him. Get up, Madkip. Oh god, I just almost fucking cracked my groin up. This really felt like it was about more than just winning. I'm so old and brittle. Statement, putting everyone in the division Yet resilient as fuck. <laughs> that statement was they're here to it's win. Really the quite a dichotomy. <laughs> give me my points. Give me my upgrade. Depends what you're doing when you're grunting. Oh, I've only got seven. Shit. Let's see what the ultimate bro wants. Is that the NXT? Things? Bro, oh, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24-7 title that I just won off of R-Truth for your Intercontinental title? A trade's not gonna happen, but I'll give you a chance to earn it in a match, as long as I can get a shot at your 24-7 title first. Oh, totally. But where are you gonna attack me? Catering? The loading dock? By my scooter rack? Give me a hint here, bro. I like to do things differently. Let's make it an official title match on Raw. Far out. I like the way you think, new guy. All right, so we've only got about 10 minutes left, so I'll probably just do this first match, and then we'll cut it off, and then we'll resume this story arc the next time around.
I imagine this one's going to like, I'll probably win, but then I'll start getting attacked and then I'll give it up. Just like that happened in the other one too. Um, in the legacy. The following contest is scheduled for one four. And it's one four. The twenty four seven championship. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. I'm gonna skip my intro. Because we're tight for time, but I kind of want to see, bro. Kind of want to see riddles. Here comes the original. Too bad they released him. He was very entertaining. And here comes the original scooter. The scooter for you. Matt Riddle was a top mixed martial arts talent before arriving in WWE. Devastating strikes, brutal submissions, and he's added some high flying attacks. Riddle can beat you in so I love the 24 7 belt with the green kind of around it. I like that. It's a neat looking belt. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. He ain't in the ring against any old bruh. He's in against the ultimate bruh. He may be original, but I am ultimate. The challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 217 pounds. Smooth. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. He is the 24 7 champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. The ref holding this title longer than you did, Saxton. <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. We don't have much time here. I'm going to have to kick his ass quickly. Which means I'll probably make some mistakes. It takes so a lot to surprise me these days, but this calm. one's hard to wrap my head around. The IC champion is taking on Riddle in an official 24-7 title match on Raw. The Lock certainly plays by his own rules. I just hope he knows what he's doing. Spoiler alert, he probably does. Followed by a forearm smash. He eludes the contact. Display of offense we just witnessed there. Lock able to get out of the way. Look at this. Northern light suplex. Ooh. Stopping their opponent. Oh, what a fall. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Now grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. The stop in every single part of his body. Kicks to the face. Wrapped up with a big one. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. You gotta wonder, what does this do to Riddle's confidence? Oh, by a forearm smash. Perched up top. Oh, oh ouch. Oh, my God, in a spine. That'll make your legs go numb. I'll try and pin him here, see if I can get him already, but... Oh, so close. I thought I had it there. Champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Gets inside the ring. 
I like that move. That's one of my go-tos, as you can tell. <laughs> Setting up. Boom. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, nasty stop to finish it off. Can't quite get in there. Knee right to the face. The lock is focused on finishing this. Hopefully after this, he should be good to go if I hit it. I can see him blocking it. Nope. Up into the torture rack. Beast your mind. The title of Chief Hands. There we go. The champion has prevailed over Riddle. Got to correct you there, Cole. That's now the 24-7 champion you're referring to. Oh, look at him. Double fisting titles. They call him the lock for a reason, folks. Not sure he ever was a lock for the 24-7 title, though. But how many superstars can say they've held two titles in WWE at the same time? Yeah. Impressive. It is impressive, because I'm impressive. <laughs> I am so mundanely average, it is incredible. Meh. Meh to the what? <laughs> Doing big business in the locker room. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave off. Oh my god, our truth is fucking classic. <laughs> 